Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are the Ginfluencers UK. The gin we're trying today is Misty Isle Gin from the Isle of Skye. The Isle of Skye Distillery was started in 2016 by Alistair and Thomas Wilson. Inspired by Skye, the brothers have crafted Misty Isle Gin to embody its place of origin, married with the crystal clear waters and the right balance of finest botanicals. Misty Isle Gin is said to capture the spirit of Skye. The botanicals include juniper berries that are slowly distilled in copper pot stills and then vapour infused carefully with selected botanicals such as coriander, angelica root, orris root, grains of paradise and lemon. Ooh, there is a real secret botanical that's kept under wraps and that can only be found at altitude on the Isle of Skye. I'd love to find out. I is. really want to know now. It comes in a 70 centilitre bottle with an ABV of 41.5% and costs £36. Today we'll be making a classic gin and tonic using premium tonic water and garnishing with some orange peel. As always, we'll be trying it neat first, so let's get to it. Wow, Misty Isle. There oil. we go. Here we go. We love Misty Isle. We've mm. done two of their other gins, the um, the spookily spiced one and the Christmas one. You mean the two that are already the open? Two that are already there you open. go. And, that was um, easy. And we really like those. There we go. Right, let's um, let's pop this. There Boop. we are. Boop. Ooh. Ooh. Do you know what? They didn't disappoint on on the last ones. They actually... They really... I think we scored them quite high, they were, actually. They were packed full of flavour. So let's see what their regular gin tastes <sighs> like, shall we? There we go. Now, the smell, oh, the smell. is great. It's, it's an intense... Do you know what? I've actually got to... That's the Christmas one, isn't it? Yeah, that's the Spooky Spice one. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I've got a... This is... This is an amazing smell. I've never been a lot about the smell, but the smell of this is... Again, it's just loads of flavour. It's intense. The smell is intense. Do you know what this is slightly reminiscent oh. of? This is slightly re reminiscent of um, Spirit of George with that kind of Himalayan tea. It's, it, I'll tell you what, it, it's going... It's going that way. me waves. Yeah, it's going that way of kind of spiciness. There's, there's a load, there's a load of flavour in there. You are so correct. That is, that's such a, Do it's an have... interesting smell. Oh, look, there you go. Down in, our, down in our pot of Himalayan tea from... Oh, wow. Taste that. There is not a million miles from that. Taste it and then smell. This. It's not a million miles from that. I mean, it's different. It is different. It's not the same. But the intensity it's not the same. and the, the, the... There are elements about it. There are elements that are very similar there. And that's... That's great. Because we scored that quite high as well. We one. did. Do you know what? I'm... I'm a... I'm a little bit shocked because we tried the kind of seasonal ones. So we tried the, the Spookly Spiced and the Christmas one. Which were brilliant. Which were brilliant. <laughs> if you haven't seen the videos, we'll put them up. We'll put them up there and there at the very ends. Right, so I, I was I was thinking that this was just going to be, yeah, like a bit of, <laughs> but these were so packed full of flavour. So that, yeah. Um, no. But these were so packed full of flavour, I'm like, well, then they're not going to continue that through the rest of the range, are they? They are. I'm telling you, this, I, I had no doubt this was going to be good. So far, right? Because I think they are so dedicated to producing this gin. Yeah. Being all the way up up there, right? Um, I think they, they really do care about it. And definitely those two, bear in mind they weren't, they were a seasonal gin. They could have just been, they could have jumped on the bandwagon like loads of other people mm. do. They actually, it was great. The flavours were brilliant on this, those. This is just, this, this is, is just, this is awesome. Constantly giving your mouth mm. a bang, 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 full of flavours mm. all over. I'm, yeah, that's great. Right, I'm loving this. I've run out, we need a tonic. We need a tonic. <laughs> So, let's give it a try. Cheers, Oscar. Cheers, Scott. Ooh, those flavors just intensified. 
they have. It, it really is. If it was, if it was 10, 50 percent back then, mm. this has taken out to 70, 80 percent of flavour. Mm. It's, it's amazing how how they've really opened up, but not only opened up, intensified. I, you know, on our gin journey that we've had. Um, there are very few gins that have this much flavour. Mm. You know, um, Misty Isle, wow. You have you must put in a huge amount of botanicals to get this flavour. Do you know what I think it is? I think they put a lot of hours in developing these. I would really like to know. When we go up, when we go and visit you, we, we're, we're going like to visit you. you. Yeah, we're right. going to come and visit you. Right, because we're, we're going to do Whether a you want Scottish trip at some point. Right, we, uh, like, I think they just, experiment and experiment. I think this is a chemistry, it is a chemistry. It's an Making, art. It's an art and it's yeah, a chemistry. It's, an it's a chemistry project. And I think they put so much time in that until they get it right. And I think they have. I really do. I think it's intense, it's great, it's, it's, it's exciting. There's just so much spice going on in there, but not hot spice. We're, we're talking about like the fragrant spices coming through. It's still very similar, the aftertaste to uh, Spirit of George. Spirit of George, yeah. Right? I'm, I'm I think getting it's that. great and it's, I really it's like that. Himalayan, and yeah. we, we rated that really highly. What I'm overwhelmed with was the, we first tried the Spookly Spice, blown away by that, and the pumpkin in there, the elements of that, it really hit hit the nail on the head for that kind of, that, that season. Then we tried the Christmas one, I'm like, oh wow, yeah, they've, yeah. it is different. It's not the same, it's different. Again, it's different, but it's full of flavor. It's making me even more excited about choosing their other ones. I've got to say, I was just thinking, because obviously we buy our gins. I'm excited. If they brought out another gin tomorrow, I'd want us to buy it. Yeah. Because I'm excited. Now we've tried those two. They were great. Absolutely brilliant. This one is awesome, right? And if they brought out four more gins tomorrow, I'd want us to buy them. Because I think it's exciting. Every it time we've opened I was, I was waiting to, for us to open this because we, we've still got three more to do and uh yeah I'm, I'm impressed i'm impressed and that that just shows a great distillery there's a couple of them around that really stand out and yeah I think this this is this has really jumped out there is one that i really want to try and it's the tommy's one so this one was made um for their dad like their dad was in the army and their, their dad was in the Suez crisis and so is my dad. My dad was a paratrooper and he was dropped first. And we're going to review this on my dad's birthday um, because I think that'd be a fitting tribute and stuff. And, you know, I've, I've, I kind of messaged these guys about getting this bottle because it was out, it was kind of not available for a while. Um, and we managed to get a bottle. Um, and that for me is, is a really key one that I really want to try because it has that family connection for me. Um, and that link to my dad. And I think that is also part of a gin journey. Yeah. Is that things that bring back memories or you can connect familiar, that's familiar to you or connect to it. And that, that adds to it as well, definitely, 100%. And I think, I think when I found out about this gin <clears throat> and its kind of origin, I was actually thinking, wow, you know, the two brothers there, maybe their dad met my dad. And that, that was a really nice That's kind of warm, interesting thing. That, yeah, that was a really nice kind of warming feeling. Well, there's that kind of open connection there, um, and that that's one I really want to try. Um, obviously, we'll do this one in the summer, the pink gin. Everyone loves a bit of pink gin in the summer. Um, but I'm I'm so shocked that their their gin is so flavorful. Mm. It's really I, I I didn't I didn't think it would be bad at all because the other two we tried are fantastic. But I'm just overwhelmed with how good this is. Normally, what we found is the ones that are more um, seasonal, mm. right, don't tend to be as good as their their base products. And theirs definitely have. They really have. Yeah, these ones have been fantastic. But then I thought <laughs> maybe there's so much flavour in there, their regular one um, would be doled down a fair Actually, bit. We've taken quite a bit out of this one there, haven't yeah, we? That's all nice. <laughs> It's not the first bottle either. Um, so yeah, so it's it's done really well. We actually really like that one. And some yeah. friends we pointed out to um, from Gym Porium, um, they really like this one too. Yeah. Um, I think we should score. I think we should before we give 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 it away too much. Right. Yeah. I'm ready. 
Go. Go. Easy, easy 10. Easy 10. Easy 10. Now, now, I mean, it, it, we, we could have put that as any number at past five. It's brilliant. It's a great 10. It's a, exceptional. Will we have it? Yes. Right, 10s are ones we will always keep on our shelves. This easily. is not This is not the first one we've had of this one. Um, and this, this is not the first one we've had of this one. Um, likewise, this is going to be a staple. This yeah. is going to be on our shelves, like the other two. Um, I actually like these two, even though they're, you know, they're, they're pitched as seasonal ones, the Christmas ones, Piggly Spice ones. They're brilliant. They're good all they're year brilliant. round. They're good all year round. Um, but this one, another fantastic one. Guys, you've, you've out the ball. Out the ballpark is what they say, isn't it, in America? No, you've hit the ball out, out of the park. Yeah, that one. If you're going to say it, if you're going to use a sporting mm. terminology, get it right. Don't really play sports. And I don't base, play sports, but I know them. <laughs> really? Right. Anywho. Mind you, you could be a sumo wrestler. Yeah, there you go. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that killed that gag, didn't it? Killed it. All you got to do is look at them straight on. There you go. That's how you do it. Do your bits. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Do that. If you tried any of their gins, let us know. And if you haven't, try them. Yeah, try them. Try them. Come we're, on. Listen, we're buying them. We're reviewing them. We're giving you an honest feedback. We're saying they're really good and we've paid for them. It's not It's not yeah, like we get them for free and people go, oh yeah, we'll say something really, really nice. We've paid for them. They're really, really good. So yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and ch check out our videos. Whatever, yeah. I've forgotten it. I've actually genuinely forgotten. Well, it we'll doesn't really matter, video. does it? There you yeah. go, that's the bit. Happy ginning. Happy ginning. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.